Should you build a gaming computer right now? Looking at all the things we have in June, in the beginning of summer, uh, towards the end of spring, or starting of spring, should you build yourself a gaming computer in 2018 right now? And what we're going to do in this video is look at all the different things going on right now, all the new releases, all the current releases, all the past releases, to tell you a good, accurate guess on A, how long this will last, if you, you know, how long these parts will be new in the top of tier. Also talk about you know, when the next releases of some of these parts are going to be, so how long you may, may be waiting in order to get these. And of course, talk about, you know, of course, the past parts and what would be a good bang for your buck if you're really going to go budget. So to start off, let's talk about CPU. We know that Intel has 8, the 8700K right now, top tier in their i7 lineup. There's supposed to be an 8086K, which is supposed to be an anniversary chip that will be boosting up to 5.1 gigahertz, but it will not offer any substantial differences. Meanwhile, on Ryzen, on the six core equivalent, we have the 1600X and 1600 that are currently you know, going down in price as the release of the Ryzen 2 model, or the Ryzen second generation models, fix a lot of the issues that Ryzen 1 had problems with. You know, memory overclocking, things like that. So if you were to look at the Ryzen now, especially the Ryzen 2 2600X uh, or 2600, you're looking at an extremely good bang for your buck just for the same kind of equivalent amount of cores, etc. And the clock speed differences will not be substantially make a difference in gaming. Now for our video editors, um, the streamers, all you guys out there, I would definitely say that the 100% best bet, even if you're gaming, is still going to be the seven um, 2700X from AMD. And I do say this for, you know, just because that's going to be releasing. Um, it's going to be basically same speed as the 6 core equivalent and have a lot of those cores for you to work with while rendering and doing your video streaming, things like that. Um, and of course, if you have an older, you know, motherboard and you want to upgrade, that all depends. But right now, the CPU is a pretty good spot because we won't see anything substantial from AMD for another year. And Intel, most likely to compete with AMD, will only release maybe a slight clock speed difference because that's all that, you know, AMD really did except fix a lot of the issues. Um, so really, Intel might release something that has a lot more um, speed. Um, you know, clock speeds, etc., while really keeping the same general gist, while AMD will hopefully have something that's very good to increase. Now, let's talk about graphics cards. Now, graphics cards right now are kind of back down. I won't say that they are perfect, but they are kind of slowly making their way back down. Um, and I will say that right now is probably a pretty good time to buy. Um, we won't see a new, you know, NVIDIA graphics card probably for next till next year and then we will see something from amd also next year and the reason why i say this is just because G gddr6 which is supposed to be being manufactured by samsung and i believe there's a couple others don't quote me on that i'm not sure that's just uh, the top of my head uh, but i think um but someone's manufacturing gddr6 and they are basically putting that out there enough so they need to collect enough of that for nvidia to use that in order to put that in their graphics card which i think that's what they're planning on doing um but as for graphics cards right now, you got a good, pretty good price. You, as I said, for mid-range gaming, the 1060, um, Vega 56 or so, or 64, if you can grab your hands on one of those. Uh, the Vegas are pretty much good for workstation, though I will say. Uh, meanwhile, you know the, as I said, workstation in the sense of that HBM2, and the Nvidia cards are of course good for your gaming if you, that's solely what you're doing. And of course, I have a 1080 Ti for workstation tasks, so I mean it can go either way. So let's talk about RAM. I made a video a while back talking about RAM prices decreasing because of Samsung, you know, ramping production, blah, blah, blah. RAM prices are pretty much a luck of the draw. I had this RAM back here drop 50 bucks, and I snagged it for a pretty good deal, and now I look at it again, and it's back up to where it was. So I had been sitting and watching this every day pretty much for three months or so, and I found a good deal. I think it might have been a sale or maybe partially went down or maybe a combination of the both. So that's how I got my RAM, my extra 16 gigs of RAM for my video editing, because that's kind of necessary. But just keep in mind that RAM, 
You can sit there and watch, but keep in mind that maybe after a month or so, if it's staying around the same general amount, keep an eye out for a low dip and then just grab it and snag it and go. Because that's going to be your best bet. And of course, especially if you're going with Ryzen, make sure you get some too high, some very high speed RAM because cutting out in the RAM speed will definitely hurt your CPU tremendously if you're new to this computer building business. As for the rest of the parts, we've always got new cases coming out. Um, there's always You can always get an older one that still looks good. Power supplies are just always getting cheaper for higher amounts. Um, hard drives also getting cheaper. Um, so I mean, yes, you can get a, a nice new hard drive, but it will just, you know, same thing, you'll be able to get the same hard drive for less than a year, and it's always going to be that way. Um, and motherboards and stuff are pretty much the same cheap price. So if I were to say something, this is probably a good time to buy. Buy a gaming computer. Do it now, I guess, because in about a month or so, we never know what may be around the corner, especially with graphics card prices. And, you know, everybody loves to watch as... The miners scrabble up and get every single graphics card on the planet, and then your graphics card prices are through the roof. So, what I'd say at the point of this is, if you want to buy something, start with your graphics card. Um, wait for it to kind of go down to a nice little low. You can see where it's going on, like some price charts and stuff. Uh, PC Part Picker does a good job with that one, and just sit down and look at it and just see when it's going to get low. Um, you know, see when it does get low, grab one if you can. Of course, same thing for your RAM and then CPU and stuff. Just grab one up when you can and you have the money for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, give a thumbs up. Quite comments is always available for questions. Of course, I also have a Discord server. You can hop in there and ask questions for because that's also a very good place with a lot of helpful people. I think like 2,000 of them. So that's a good place to go for as well. And of course, thank you for watching. Hope to see you around. Goodbye.